satellites are constantly orbiting the Earth and observing our planet for a variety of reasons. But how do scientists discover what those satellites see? In the early 1980s, a researcher at California Script Institute of Oceanography started a company called Sea Space Corporation. The new firm began working on technologies to help scientists access the data satellites were collecting. Sea Space has worked with NASA on many science programs. In the 1990s, they teamed with NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory to build a low-cost system to acquire the data from NASA satellite missions. The firm developed software and hardware for an X-band ground station system to directly receive the data in real time. They also developed software called TerraScan for increased antenna control and data framing accuracy, something new for the industry. Our software it has, was developed by scientists for the use of scientists. So it contains a lot of algorithms and of course working with NASA and we're able to take some of the work that they have done incorporate into our product line and then every user has access to that. The Sea Space system was used to download some of the first data from the Terra mission. Terra, the flagship of NASA's Earth Observing System or EOS, collect high resolution data on global climate and environmental change. Scientists use the data to understand the changes taking place on our home planet and make predictions for the future. Because of its low cost, the TerraScan system made it possible for universities and others to now access the data as well. They use our data received by the, our systems through the NASA satellites to be able to, to do ocean studies. Purdue University has a lot more of a land use. Since then, the company has installed over 50 X-band systems and 450 TerraScan systems around the world. The Navy uses a system for operational flight plans and monitoring dust storms in Iraq and Afghanistan. They're able to save lives. They don't want to get all the engines on the F-16s, you know, damaged because that's thousands of dollars that then the government is going to have to spend just into repairing. But also it's applicable to ground troops. You know, you don't want to deploy uh, troops into an area in which they won't have any support. You know, in order for them to mobilize, you're going to need air support. Therefore, you know, they, they all collaborate and they look at the data also to, to do amphibian operations or, you know, sending the, the combat units into, into the battlefields. Another system, located in Antarctica, is used for predicting ice thickness and movement. Whenever the Coast Guard cutters go to leave uh, supplies for the winter, you know, they're able to determine how thick the ice is, so they're able to cut channels that saves, of course, a lot of cost of energy. Sea Space has teamed up with the Vexel Corporation, a subsidiary of Microsoft, to deliver a high-end data acquisition system to the Chilean Air Force. Sea Space developed the data collection technology and Vexel the software to process the data. Vexel software is also the result of an earlier NASA partnership. Today, the firm continues to develop technologies that will help NASA and other researchers around the world be able to better study and understand our home planet.